Now here's a lemma, which I want to I want us to study, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna actually explain this proof to you. But this lemma is it's the heart of the proof for correctness for lots of things. If you take a graph with non-negative weights and take a spanning forest. Now, remember in a spanning forest, all the vertices have to belong to components. But it's perfectly OK to have uh, loose vertices, one components which have size 1. Take a spanning forest. And now, let's see be any component of this spanning forest. Among all the edges with one endpoint in C and the other not in C, let edge E be any one of minimum weight. Then among all the spanning trees of G that contain F, there is one of minimum weight which contains E. All right, let, let's begin to look at some things. I, I want to make sure that this is absolutely clear to you. So imagine at some point in time you have built something or it walked in the door and it looks like this. So I'm, I'm intending that I have a graph and I have a spanning forest. So oh, those are all the vertices. That's a component. That's a one element component. That's a component. Two elements. That's th three element component, etc. Now, you can envision that either these edges are what walked in the door when management said, start here and do the best you can. Or you can imagine that I have been working on this for two weeks, and these are the edges which management dictated together with choices that I have already made and I will live with forever. But this is where I'm at at this moment in some process. Okay, is, that, is that clear? Is that, I don't know how we got here. If it's, if it's the initial step, it's what management dictated to me. At a later time, it might be me that's dictating to myself on top of what management has done. All right, now, management or me or the person next door goes, and identifies a component. That one. This component. That two, ver it could be a one vertex component, could be the biggest component, it doesn't matter. Now, what I do is I look at all the edges which have one endpoint in this component and the other one somewhere else. So the kind of edges I would look at would be this one, this one, this one, this one, ah, not that, silly. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, etc. You get the picture? I look at all the edges which have one endpoint in C and the other one not in C. And I look at their weights. I sort that little set of edges. And I pick one of minimum weight. Maybe, maybe this one. This is the cheapest one. Call it E. The lemma says, out of all of the spanning trees which contain this starting set of edges, that have minimum weight, there's one that contains that one. Knowing that, if it was me doing the work, I would take it and repeat. 
I'd say, okay, here's my new forest. Now, my new forest, this component, which used to have two vertices, and this component, which used to have three, have been joined together into a component which has five vertices. All the other components are unchanged. But I'd say, okay, here's my new spanning tree. Give me another choice of C. So erase this choice, and you say to your boss, or to your coder, to your cat, to your UGA friend, if you have any, give me another choice of C. Oh, you know, one choice they could say is, well, just stick with the component, the expanded component that you've worked with. You know, take this one. But they might say, take that one. Your new C is over here. If your new C is over here, what I would do is I'd look at all the edges with one endpoint in this, one endpoint in that, like this. My picture is only suggestive, of course. And I'd look at all these edges, and I'd take the cheapest one. It might be this one. That's the edge that I would take. And now I would say, give me another component, and let's play this game until we get a spanning force. Now, the lemma says that that strategy is optimal. Out of all of the spanning trees, as long, and it doesn't matter which component you're given. Doesn't matter which component. If you just take the cheapest edge, that works. Okay, now let's sketch the proof of that now that we understand what it's saying. 